All right, so I know it's in the title, and there's probably going to be a thumbnail, but I'm getting ready to head out. Got a new tripod in the mail. Things are getting legit around here. And not to mention, we got a brand new camera. I hope the uh, audio is recording really good in this thing. But uh, I guess we're going to get to it, get outside, get all this set up, and uh, go ahead and start making this awning for the canoe. Shoo! We recording? We're recording. All right, so I got this AquaQuest tarp. I've had it for a while, you know, because we was going to get into bushcrafting. Just like every dude that gets sucked into one of Joe Robinette's videos. But uh, the goal today is to try to make an awning cover for this canoe. So Megan doesn't get sunburned on it every time we go out. Alright, so my goal is to make an arch that's going to go over it. And then have some that forks off the side. We're going to get corner to corner with this... Uh, tarp and hopefully this works out and it doesn't get too crazy but we'll see I'm starting to wonder that the screws I bought are actually gonna be long enough now I didn't realize but this is double layered I thought it was just really thick Alright, so the screws that I bought were way too short, so I'm doing what any proper YouTube mechanic would do, and that's uh, use a bunch of just washers and just slowly make them bigger. It'll, it'll be alright. Alright, so let's tighten those up. Show! Alright, some people are probably wondering why I'm doing this instead of just buying a pre-made one. Well, I can only find one online for sale that would cover the whole thing. And it was almost $200. And then I went on Amazon just to just try to find like a cheap umbrella that I could just clamp to it just to keep making it out of the sun. And those were like $30, $40, $50 just for like a little umbrella with a clamp on it that was adjustable. So I already had the tarp laying around. So I went to Lowe's, picked up about $40, $50, I think it was 50, right at 50 bucks with a pipe when a lot of it's way more than I need. And I'm just gonna do it myself. Shoo! I can't find my PVC cutter, so I'm having to use a cutoff wheel for this, and it's super messy. This is going exactly as smooth as I anticipated. We're figuring it out. Or I'm figuring it out because you're not here. And in case you're wondering, I am uh, measuring nothing and I am guessing at everything. 
Just want to make that clear. Not that it probably already isn't. Probably should turn this down so the eyeball don't tear the tarp. So now all I gotta do is get a little bit of paracord and I'm gonna uh, tie down the uh, sides. Nothing fancy here, just a regular knot. I don't get too crazy. See, it slipped through. All right, now this little knot I learned in YouTube name. You pinch it. Two loops on the inside. And then one loop, I don't know if you can see it, around the bottom side. You slide them all together. That's an adjustable slip knot. Very useful. Instead of using PVC cement, I'm going to use a bunch of these three quarter inch screws to uh, lock it all together. Complete change of plans as far as this mounting part goes. I tried just bolting a the cap there, but it wiggles so much, it's not gonna work. I got a better idea though. That's so much better. Sure. See how Megan seats feels. Oh, it's gonna work. You're on video. Hey, yeah. Where? Oh my God, I hate you. So now I guess I'm just gonna paint all these black so they don't look like PVC pipe no more. And I guess we'll go. I do a little work to the canoe. I gotta fix a couple things. We got a couple bolts missing, and I just need to clean it back up. But uh, shoo, I'm pretty pretty excited about it. Megan should really like this. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I will add the clip of me walking around, showing it all. But we're out here doing it. Megan's paddling. We probably chose one of the sketchiest places to test this out, out here on Smith Mount Lake on a Sunday. But uh, and look at the waves. I don't know if you can see those. 
And it's working. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how well it's going to do as far as like a. We can't adjust these a little bit, but. As far as the uh, side sunlight, but it's vertical, high noon, we're good, we're covered. So, thanks for checking it out. See y'all next one. Shoo! Peace out. <laughs>